So what is good, YouTube? It's your boy Legendary E, and we're back here for another episode of my Lakers, my GM. And in the last one, we did go through the end of season number one, and today we're here with the NBA draft. And I looked at all of the comment sections uh, in the last video. I I pretty much asked you guys what we should do. Uh, I pretty much narrowed it down because we obviously have the number one pick thanks to the Blazers who we should get Bagley or Michael Porter and I think I got a definite answer but anyways you guys uh, in the next episode we will be taking on a free agency so if you guys want to see that episode make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video and let's aim for 205 likes for the next one of you guys I know that you guys can reach this goal because you, you guys are always reaching the goals also let me know which team we should rebuild a rebuild on next and oh yeah who should we target in free agency who should we target we have a lot of cap holes we got a lot of players that we need to actually bring back um let's see uh some of my cap holes we have to decide if we want to bring back Brooke Lopez and trade him uh KCP we ha we are gonna have to pay Yusuf Nurk Dick. Uh, we might have to pay Larry Nance. Yo, regardless, we, we, we got to pay a bunch of these players. Some of them I do want to just sign and trade them. But let me know who we should also target in free agency as well. Because there are a lot of good players out there. So, yo, let me know who we should actually be targeting in free agency. Because, like I said, there are a lot of, of, of good players out there, y'all. But other than that, y'all, make sure to go ahead, drop a like, and subscribe. And let's get straight into the NBA draft. So, yo, after all of that talking and and all of that decision-making, uh, I asked you guys who we should go ahead and pick. And, yo, uh, for the most part, a lot of people still said for me to get Michael Porter. I feel like Michael Porter would help us in a better, like, I feel like he I feel like he would help us more because he can stretch the floor. He can, like, his rebounding is really, really good as well. I mean, it's a C plus, but that's pretty damn decent. And obviously, he can shoot that three ball. Like he can, he can shoot as well, which which, which could make things a lot easier for us, y'all. Uh, and his ceiling is a Hall of Fame. And they said at worst, he's he's Robert Covington, which is which is something that I do like. Uh, but in the end, most of you guys did say that we should go ahead and get Marvin Bagley the third. His ceiling is also Hall of Fame. David Robinson. His floor is Robin Lopez. I hope he reaches that damn ceiling. He's him and Porter are both 80 overalls, uh, but his strengths his strengths are with the right tutelage. He can become a star in this league. He can be counted on to, to score points with his back to the basket. He has a knack for knowing where to be on offense. Hasn't shown the ability to steal the ball as a weakness. I don't really care about my center stealing the ball at all, just to be honest with you. As far as his college stats, 17 points, 16 rebounds. For yeah, this man was destroying it at Duke. Uh, his defense, his athleticism is all above average. I do want to work on his three-point shot. What is it at? A 57 for his open shot three. Yeah, we're going to have to work on that. I want to make him a stretch big. I, I could have sworn that he could actually shoot, though. Just a little bit because I, I remember seeing him in a Drew League game. But that's who we are going to be going after uh, in this video. But other than that, I do want to make a trade because obviously, you guys already know, I really want to be able to get Jello. Like I, I really want to be able to 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 like pick up Jello. Uh, where's Jello at? Let's look. Let's look at the draft express ratings. All right. Let's find Jello. Let's find Jello. Ooh, Jalen Hands. Trayvon Duvall is there. That's Bagley's teammate. I'm not getting his. We obviously have already. Have, we already have a point guard. But Jello is right there. We could get Jello. What's his prospect? 19. That's really high. That's really hot for somebody. Overall, this kid can definitely contribute. His ceiling's an all-star. Nice shooting form. He won't get open against most defenders. Yo, I want to try and get jealous. So I want to get in that 20-ish range. The Rockets are trying to give me a first-round pick for that. And this is a good-ass trade. That's bro, that's a good-ass trade. Uh, I, I, I think this is the dude who, who shoots his free throws underhand, right? On the track. His rebounding is decent. He's 6'10". What's his potential? It's a B minus. That's that's pretty good, actually. I'm not gonna lie. J Justin Patton. I'm trying to unload stuff. I, I like this trade. I really do. And we might be able to flip that pick and get uh, the 20th pick. So let's get straight to the NBA draft. We have the number one overall pick. It's draft day, you guys. Hopefully, we are making the right decision with getting Marvin Bagley the third. I've never gotten him. Uh, let's look at the offers. Obviously, we aren't going to use them or take any of them, but just let's let's take a peek at these offers. The third pick, you have to give me any, like like somebody else along with that for me to trade that. Gordon Hayward, Nobby, 
Um, nah, cuz let's see. Dame Dollar. They would never give me Dame Dollar. But obviously, I'm not doing that trade. I'm not doing any of these trades. With the number one overall pick in the NBA, in the 2018 NBA draft, we are taking Marvin Bagley the third. This man skipped his senior season of high school, and he's going to be a beast on this team. There's a good chance he plays power forward for us, while Nurtic is the center, and we get rid of Brooke Lopez. But yo, Marvin Bagley, welcome to the squad, buddy. Great selection. Welcome to the Marvin. You will be in the Hall of Fame when it's all said and done. 6 to 11 out of Duke. He's a 79 overall. All right. I actually like that. All right. Who goes second, though? Oh, a trade. Gordon Hayward got traded. They're going to... They are taking Michael Porter, then. The Suns are, 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 are going to take Porter. Yeah. I mean, that, that was pretty obvious. That was really, really obvious. All right. Let's just keep going. Hopefully, no one takes Jello. This is probably going to be Luka, and they're going to have to wait. A, yo, who's this? Lamar Peters. I don't even know who that is. He's a 73. Oh, of course, of course they take. <laughs> Dang. All right. Um, okay. Peters. What was Peters' draft ranking? Dang. They, this man, he was a 12th. Okay. Y'all are drunk. Okay. Let's just keep going for the first, for the next, for the next couple of picks. And then I will see Luca. The Hawks are going to have to wait a year to actually get him because he's playing overseas. Jaron Jackson. Colin Sexton goes sixth. Come on. I'm trying to go to the 20th range. Like, and I'm trying to go somewhere in the 20s. The subjects are making hella moves, though. They're making hella moves with our pick. This should have been our pick. Who are they taking with? They took DeAndre Aiden. He has a ridiculous vertical. His vertical is crazy. Kemba Walker, oh my dude, there are too. There's too many moves going going on in this draft now. There's too many moves. Kemba Walker for Mo. Bon okay, that's 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 dumb. <laughs> that's that that's pretty stupid. And Mike Conley gets traded. Every single superstar or star is getting moved. Who are they taking? Probably Duval, right? Jello, what? Hold the front door. Y'all taking... Okay, hold on. Bruh, chill out. Chill out. Y'all did not just take Jello. Y'all did not just take... He's a 72 overall. Leave it to leave it to the Grizzlies to make a, a, a bad pick. Hold on. Let me just... Let me throw up my pick just to see if, 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 if he pops up. Jello. Yo, give us Jello. I'm not, I'm not giving you that. You guys are asleep. It's not nearly as valuable. Oh my gosh. I know they, they aren't doing this. That says I'm getting to make it's not nearly as valuable. Okay. You know what? We are done with the NBA draft. That's ridiculous. They they took him with the ninth pick. I was I was trying to get him with like around a, a pick in the 20s. That's by far the worst pick. Like that was a horrible pick. They passed on Bridges. They passed on this guy who was a 75. Who else? They passed on Jalen Hands after they just traded away Mike Mike Connolly. They passed on Trayvon Duval. Duval went so late. I probably could have got him. To, to like be honest, I probably could have got him. That's crazy. We're fine. We're signing our number one overall pick, Marvin Bagley the third. Welcome to the squad, homie. All right, uh, let's see. We're gonna play him at power forward. That's that's the his overall goes up to an eighty. Here we go. And let's also make a let's also make sure that his secondary position is center as well. But yo, that's a W. I personally think that that's a W. Jello went extremely early. Uh don't know why they did that. But you know what? That's on them. Don't really care. It, it, it got nothing to do with us. <laughs> that's all that I can say. That has, has nothing to do with us. But yo, our lineup for next year is looking really, really nice. Uh and I guess that is it for the NBA draft. We saw where all of the players went. A lot of a lot of a lot of controversial moves. I'm I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Uh Half of the stuff that just went down makes no sense to me. But we got Marvin Bagley the third. He's going to be playing power forward for us, you guys. Uh, we're probably going to... We're going to be re, we're gonna be re-signing Yusuf Nurtic. Probably signing and trading Brooke Lopez and all the rest of them, y'all. 
But so far this team, we are making a lot of moves to get to be geared towards making a playoff run. Our team is really, really young. So I do want to add a veteran player. I don't want to sign a superstar like Kevin Durant or none of those guys. I want to sign somebody who's like still in like the 80s. Just somebody who's young and can actually help this team develop. So other than that, you guys, let me know how you guys think about the NBA draft and that wild move by the Grizzlies taking LiAngelo Ball. When Trayvon Duvall and Jalen Hands and every single point guard was still chilling right there. But anyways, you guys, we missed out on Jalen. I wish that we I wish that we were able to actually get him. But you know what? Things happen. I'll see you guys free agency. Make sure to go ahead, like the video, and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Heard it with popping and stuff in their pocket with cottage and dressing no stylus. Stylus. Ain't no OG for the knowledge, no binging for wallets. He pull a big body. One in the chamber, they pocket watching, hit him right in.